Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Of course, you know that this channel is all about beauty, health, and spiritual benefits of nature. Nature is so wonderful. Nature is so good. God has given us so much in nature to help us achieve our purpose in life. Today, I want to teach us how you can take care of spiritual order and causes. If you're joining me for the first time, you're welcome. And if you've always been with me here, I appreciate you. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, drop your comments, and please do subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be able to receive it. So today, I'm going to teach us how we can take care of spiritual order. You know, when you wear a, a good fragrance, head will always turn to look at you. You attract people that will, that will appreciate you, that will look at you, that want to do business with you, that want to associate with you, that want to be part of your life. But of course, when you are not smelling nice, even physically, people will close their nose, they want to be far from you, they will not want to do anything with you, they will not want to have anything to do with you. So also is spiritual order. When the spell of spiritual order is cast on somebody, good things will begin to run away from that person. The person cannot attract favor. Disappointment will be the person's portion. Promise and fail. Nyansosei syndrome. When good things are happening to others, you'll be frustrated. The purpose of spiritual order is to frustrate somebody. But thank God that God has given us so much in nature. Nature is, you know, God gave us nature so that when we activate the power in nature, we bring glory to God. God has a purpose for all the things he has given us. The spice we use, the seed we use, seed of the fruit, the fruit, the bark, the root, the leaves. All that God has given us is so wonderful. He has given us these things so that we can beautify ourselves. We can take care of our health challenge. We can improve our health. And we can also sort out certain spiritual challenge. We can take care of our, our spiritual life. I have something here today. This is what I have here. This is what I have here. You can see it. This is ash. I don't know whether you can see. This is ash. Another thing I have here today, this is salt. The power in salt cannot be overemphasized. God has put so much in salt. This is salt. And this is ash. All you need to do is use these two ingredients to destroy, to remove every spiritual order and cause, spiritual order and cause. Remember in the scripture in 2 Kings chapter 2, the prophet, prophet Elijah, used salt to remove death in the land. The water of the land was polluted. And people were dying. People were getting fatal. A lot of things, things were going wrong. When the people of the land cried to the prophets, God's servants, and narrated their, their, their problem, he asked them to get him a salt. He poured a salt into the stream and the death removed. And everything that was working against the people of the land through that water stopped. And you know that even ash, physically, when you drop ash, like people that have pit toilet, when you drop ash into the pit toilet around the pit toilet, it will seize the bad odor, the bad smell. Even we are people that we are uh, chicken, you know, she, um, chicken poop can smell really bad. So when you take ash and drop around there, you find out that it will seize the smell, the bad smell. So we are going to. <clears throat> We are going to carry, carry out or practice what I call practical prayers. Practical prayer is activating the power that God has put in natural things. God has put powers in the things around us, the things that has created for you and I. God has put some level of powers for us to use it to our own benefit. But most times, ignorantly, we don't use them. They are there, lying there. We don't use for our health. We don't use for our beauty. We don't use to help ourselves spiritual. Now, if you notice that things are not working the way it's supposed to work for you, 
just get ash, a little ash, get a little salt, use it to bait. Be dropping it in your bathing water. Do it for like three days to seven days. You will see that things begin to turn around. Every negative energy the enemy has released against you as you be dropping this salt, this salt that has power that God has put in them, you find out the negative energy will begin to distance itself from you. Every spiritual smell, spiritual bad smell, working against you will begin to they, they will begin to be neutralized. All you need to do is get these two ingredients, rinse some 35 and 10, some 37 into your water. Do it first thing in the morning. Use it to bathe. Allow the water to dry on your body. You can still use your normal soap. By the time you do it three days to seven days, you begin to see that things will begin to work out well. Things that have not been working will begin to work out. Yes. Whatever the enemy has projected into you will begin to give way. Because of these two wonderful ingredients. And you know what? It's very, very easy for you to see. You can get it. Like people that use charcoal, charcoal stove, you can get ash from your kitchen. Already you can just buy salt. You can use any kind of salt. You can use the such a salt. You can use the measurement salt to do this. And use your ash. Ash destroy costs. Foundational cause, any kind of cause working against you. Is it the cause you cause by yourself? Is it the one that somebody has released upon you? Just ask God for mercy and thank God for this ingredient He has given you. That as you use, you activate the power in the things He has created and He has given you. May every glory be given to His name as you begin to receive your freedom, begin to receive your deliverance from stagnation, from, from hatred, from, from failures. So begin to re re receive your deliverance. From lack of favor, you give him all the glory. You pray and use it to bait. And believe me, if, if you use faith, believe in God, trust in God, that what he has created for us is for you. Believe him. Pray. Activate it by praying, saying the things you desire. Activate it. Pray. Use your word. Pray. Speak at your desire. Pray. At, charge the water, this ingredient with your prayer. You come back and give testimony. I've come to the end of my video. If you like my video, please like my video. Please do subscribe. Drop your comments. Let us know from where you're watch, watch, watching. And please don't forget to turn, up the not, the, to turn on the notification bell so that you always receive notification each time I upload a new video. Bye. I'm awaiting your testimony. See you in my next video.